Hello guys, and today we are going to be drawing the Joker. My dad's shadow is in the way. Dad, your shadow is in the way. Maybe it's my shadow. Yeah, it's mine. Okay, so first we're going to start off with his body. So go ahead and draw a... I don't know how to describe it, an angled line like that. So draw like a, a seven shape. But with the, the line going that way, coming a little bit down. Now we're going to draw his flower. So go ahead and draw a bunch of bumps like that. I'm trying to get, make my hand not in the way. There's a bunch of bumps just like that. And then do a circle inside. We're going to color that circle in. Okay. So now go ahead and draw a, like, a curve coming off like that. And then draw another curve coming off under it. And then continue this one and stop about right there. Continue this one, but instead of doing it at the very end, do like that instead of like so leave a little crease area okay i'm gonna connect these a little more all right so now um let's see here by the way guys i just connected this okay so draw a u coming off of that small one and then curve in and then repeat that curve repeat it again and again and can Continue that line and come up and then curve it. Now I don't know if you can see a bunch of this because my arm might be in the way. Okay, now we're going to draw his other area over here. So go ahead and draw, let's see, how can I do this? What's it? Okay, right here, I think. Okay, go ahead and draw the same exact stuff but instead of facing that way, facing that way. So you guys should be able to do that. Just like a mirror, mirror it, just like that. Now, do the exact same thing with the arm, curve in and stop, but we want to continue it a lot more. Now right here, go ahead and add that thickness, there we go. Now we also do want to continue the line right here, but instead of going only there and drawing the fist here, we are going to continue that line over like that and then continue the line under it too and then draw like um, a line coming up and then curve it just like that and then just like that so if you flip your paper this way it kind of looks like a baguette especially when you add these lines for his finger so add a line 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 now it looks like a baguette <sighs> if that's even what it's called okay now go ahead and draw from like my dog just shook her head just like right there. And then come down, just like that. Connect these a little more. And next, do the same exact thing over here. And then do a curve. On my snowman drawing video, no, with my cuphead drawing video, I um, actually covered most of the paper with my hand like this. And then I was drawing, unfortunately. But yeah, let's keep going. So now draw a like a, a V right here. Draw a V inside of your V. Just like that. And now for his head. So start right here and draw a dip. But make sure it like comes up past just like that and then connect this. Okay. So we should have something that looks like this so far. And now just continue that V shape all the way up to here and stop. And then do the same thing over here. Continue and stop. Okay. Now his ear. That's the reason we stop. So go ahead and draw like a curve coming off, just like that, and then continue the curve up, and then curve down, and do a little swirly inside, and do the exact same stuff over here. So repeat your area there. Okay. And now continue the line right there. Same over here, and then start curving back in. 
then just curve all the way around until you connect back. I know my Sharpie sucks. I know it. The reason I did that is to make sure that I wasn't going over anything. Okay. Now go ahead and draw a giant, like a diagonal line coming off the top of his head. And then diagonal line back down. Diagonal line up, diagonal line down. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a different Sharpie. Give me a second. It's much more thicker, but that's fine. So do all that. And then if I go light, then it won't be as thick. There we go. Yeah. I'm sorry about this, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to go back over all of this because, uh, there's, you know. Okay. One second, guys. I'm sorry. All right, you guys. I'm back. And now go ahead. I'm trying to keep this, like, here, give me one second. If I... Hmm. Nah. Okay, whatever. Okay, so, now draw the exact same thing over here like you did on the other side. And then connect back down in, just like that. Alright. Now let's do his eyes. So, do a line right there. That's my little like that. And then do another one. Upside down U coming off. Hold down your marker right there and then do that. Do the exact same steps over here, but this time it's going to be a little bigger. So just do the same stuff but bigger. Now his eyebrows, draw a curved line and then spikes exactly like his hair, but small. Repeat that same step over here. And now for his nose, draw a line, a diagonal line coming down, like kind of with a little crank thing in it, like that. And two curves. Hold down your marker a little. And then draw another curve. And another curve up here, too. Okay, so that's what you should have. Now, Joker is almost done. We just have to do some details in his mouth. So for his mouth, do a frowny face and a frowny face, just like that. And then go ahead and draw a big smile in between. And then... Just give that smile, like, I don't know how to describe that, like, uh, thickness, maybe? But it's not really thickness. Okay, okay, I found a good way to describe it. Trace, like, the, just give your, um, outside line some thickness, just like that. Okay, now for the inside of his mouth, go ahead and draw a curved line, and then just repeat the same step. Go ahead and draw two curved lines inside spike, a spike, and the tongue, which is just two curves. And it's going to look much better when we color it. Now, just draw a couple wrinkles up here. It can, you can do it any way you want, just a couple wrinkles. And then, for the last detail, it's the hair. So just draw a couple lines in the hair and stuff, so it looks detailed. You can draw as many as you want. Alright, all you guys, now, I'm going to go ahead and go over this. I think that is it for this Joker, and uh, um, I'm going to color it now, so see you when it is all colored. Alright you guys, so he is done getting colored, but there's one thing I forgot to show you, to draw. Right under his eyes, draw two little tiny U's, just like that. But I have to continue coloring, unfortunately, because I forgot one tiny thing, but I can do that right now. So just go ahead and color in his eyes yellow. There is Joker completely done. I will tell you the colors I used. So for the yellow, it is, let's see, just called yellow. For his um, tongue, I used something called, let's see, plum right here. Let's see, for the yellow, oh yeah, I already showed that. For his hair, I used, it, it says um, lime.
for his lips, I used pumpkin orange. For his tie, I used... Let's see, it says pink. And for, um, let's see, the, the eyes, I used just the Sharpie. And for the last one, for his suit, which I've lost that color, but it, I think it was called um, Eggplant. Yeah, it was called Eggplant. So, that is it. Besides, let's see, I also went over his skin with a light layer of pencil. Everything white besides your paper. But, hope you guys enjoyed this Joker drawing video. If you did, smash the like. I'm not saying everything. Joker will, though. <laughs> no! Rude. Okay, well, peace out. Oh, and we got our Christmas tree set up.